So hey guys, what's up? Welcome to another video. And in this video, we are going to see how you can integrate WhatsApp with Communicate. Now, you'll ask why you would want to do that. Let me tell you, almost everyone uses WhatsApp and it can be a great way to chat with your customers and solve their queries instantly. You can enable your chatbot to reply to those queries automatically, create multiple intents, all that from a single platform. So without wasting any time, let's get it started. So first of all, you'll need a Communicate account. If you don't have one yet, there is a registration link in the description box below. Register now for a 30 day free trial. We will come to the WhatsApp integration part in a minute. But first, let me show you how you can create a chatbot easily. After logging into Communicate dashboard, from the left navigation bar, click on bot integration. From this bot integration page, you can choose to integrate your any existing bot or you can create one easily using Compose. Compose is Communicate's AI powered bot builder which can easily create bots and conversational workflows. So click on Compose icon. Now from here, either you can choose a ready-made template or click on this blank button. So let's click blank, give a name to your bot, choose a bot avatar or you can also upload your own. Choose the default language and click save and proceed. Now you need to choose if you want to enable or disable the bot to human handoff feature. Your chatbot can hand off the conversation to a human team member when it is unable to recognize any user query. Once the handoff is done, the bot will stop replying. So let's enable this feature and click finish bot setup. So let's click let this bot handle all conversations. So now you have successfully created a bot. It's time to add interns. There are these various categories. Welcome messages are used to greet your user when they first enter the chat. For example, like a simple phrase, how may I help you? Once that is done, click on save. So now that we are done with welcome message, let's click answer. So now to create a new intent, just click this add button, give your intent a name. Now under training phrases, enter what you expect your user to ask. It can be anything, any frequently asked questions or any query which you expect the users. Or it can be any query which you are expecting that your customers will ask. So once you are done with your training phrases, add your response under this configure bots reply section. Once you are done configuring your reply, click train bot. So guys, this is how you create intents. Now let's talk about small talk. Small talk are kind of generic messages such as hello, hi, good morning, etc. Say, if a customer says, say about you, the bot will reply, I'm a virtual agent. Now the last section is unknown user input. This is a default fallback message when the bot is not able to answer. This intent will be triggered only when the bot is unable to match the user query with any available intent. So guys, that is how you add intents to your chatbot. If you want a more detailed tutorial on how to create a chatbot using Compose, the link will be in the description box below. Now let's proceed with the WhatsApp integration. For that, from the left navigation panel, click on integrations. Here you will see this WhatsApp icon. Below this WhatsApp icon, you need to click this settings button. After this step, you need to open a new tab and log into your Twilio console. Now. Before proceeding further, you need to make sure that you have already completed the Twilio sign-up process. After signing up, you need to fill a request form to enable your Twilio numbers for WhatsApp. You'll find link to that form in the description box below. Fill the form with accurate and up-to-date information including the Facebook Business Manager ID. For that, log into your Facebook Business Suite and from left navigation panel, click on Settings. From here, click Business Settings. From business settings page, scroll the navigation bar to the bottom and click business info. On this page at the top, you will be able to see your business manager ID. Copy this ID and paste it in the request access form. Once Twilio completes WhatsApp sender registration from the end, you will see approved by WhatsApp status in front of your registered number. After that, move back to Twilio homepage and copy your account as ID. After copying as ID, go back to communicate, paste your account as ID, go back to Twilio console, copy the authentication token, go back to communicate and paste your token here. Now put your newly enabled WhatsApp number from Twilio over here. And again, you need to make sure that the number is approved by WhatsApp. You also need to allow Twilio to send message on your behalf from your Facebook business manager console. After pasting your number here, Copy your Communicate's webhook URL. 
After this, you need to go to your number settings page in Twilio and paste the copied URL under this webhook URL for incoming messages and then click update WhatsApp sender. Now go back to communicate and click done. Now you have successfully integrated your Twilio WhatsApp account with communicate. Now communicate is successfully integrated with WhatsApp account. Try sending messages to the number linked to the account and these messages will be sent to communicate chat as well. If the chatbot is already integrated, the bot will start replying to the queries on your WhatsApp chat. You can find these conversations on the communicate dashboard as well. If you find this video helpful, then hit that like button and consider subscribing to our channel. That is it for this video and see you guys in the next one.